Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have my good man Jeffrey over there, you have Nicholas from Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews, you have Lee from Hoogly's Beer Reviews, you have Guy from Beer Guy Reviews. You're the only one that uses your actual name in his review. Smart. We have this beer. <laughs> this beer was brought to us by Jeffrey. This is from Ashton Station in, in Ontario. This is... Ashton's Hop Stravaganza IPA, which is 5% alcohol by volume. Well, it's still carbonated. Yeah. That's good. In that respect, I'm big tight, does. Wine glass out. That's right. Because he's classy. I am. The Viking goblet for doing it. Mm. I'm more classy than that. Fucking he's guy. taking a jag home. The fucking squatch. <laughs> <laughs> squatch beer. Had to beg average Joe to take him home. Holy fuck, dude. How much beer are you trying to give me? Jeff Just told me he wanted to take advantage of you tonight. Oh my God. He doesn't have much chance. getting so much head now. <laughs> There you go, Geese, sir. Thank you. Would you like to try some, Jeffrey? No, I'll come and get it in a minute. Okay, you come and get it in a minute. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go boom. Clear as hell. Clear as hell. Little, like... It's not, it's at least gold, though, not yellow. Yeah, it's gold. I wasn't, I was not insulting it by saying it's clear as hell. I'm just saying it's pretty. Yep. Yeah, man, pretty nice is... head retention. And I get, like, two streamers of carbonation coming right off the bottom. That's it. Does your glass have etchings in the bottom? Could be, yeah. I, I, this is a funky shaped glass, so I can't really tell. <laughs> Keep moving. Ooh. Bisky. Mm. Really like sweet vegetable kind of hop. Mm. You said vegetable, I wouldn't have never thought of that, but yeah, I get that now. It's like mild sweetness. A little vegetable. Not a plate. Like cucumbers oh. with sugar or something. Biscuit. Yeah, like cucumbers. I don't pick up much at all. No? no. I'm, I'm thinking like ve vegetable kind of hops, slightly mm -hmm. grassy. And I can see what you're talking about with mm. cucumbers. Like I could see it with the little sense I'm getting. Mm. It, it's got that cool freshness that like a cucumber has. And mm. It smells very nice. It does. Right, with the little bit I got. Nice. I mean, with the name Hop Stravaganza, you'd expect more, but when you think that it's Ashton Station, where this is like the biggest building in the place, I'm exaggerating a little bit, don't It's the second me. biggest building. <laughs> then you have to realize what it is, right? It's a tiny little town outside of more tiny little towns, outside of some, large, some slightly larger towns outside of a city. So... I mean, it is what it is, and it's a nice English IPA. Yeah, mm. it's your all-day, everyday yeah. English IPA. Very drinkable English-style beer. And they said it was something like... This is close to point. what you would call... No, this is the five. five. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's very reminiscent, like, Twisted Thistle or something like that. Yeah, actually quite like yeah. Twisted Thistle. Mm. Very, very... Very earthy, very br biscuity, and with a nice sugar sweetness at the very forefront. Very apt mm. description, sir. Mm. Welcome in. <clears throat> Approachable by anybody. Oh, yeah. Approachable. One of the beers that I, I, when I say everybody could enjoy it, not necessarily like it. Yeah, because there's no big hop sting that's going to like no. turn mm. little fairies into bigger fairies. Bring one of these Put home. flavor there to make it... You know, not an enjoyable beer. Yeah. You're watching the Habs lose in the playoffs. You bring this, you put it down on the table. You want your bis biscuits with your crumpets and tea? Yes. Have your finger up like this when you drink the beer. Anyway, that's not, that's not a bad beer. No. Oh. 
Uh, probably, I, I don't think I would normally buy it. So with my rating scale, probably a 6.75. It's a, it's a good beer. I really enjoy it. I have no problem at all drinking it. I just want somebody else to bring it over. Mm. Mm. It would always be welcome, let's put it that way. Yeah. And I would agree with you. I'd say I'd match your score, 6.75. I'd probably say 7. Um, I like how, you know, maybe it's it's a, a very mild IPA. Um, it's very beautiful looking. <laughs> I like that. So, a hair of an extra mark, maybe. 7 out of 10. Yeah, a bit light, so 6 out of 5. Is, uh, I agree with that. Ready, YouTube. Thank you. Bye bye. Cheers. 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 Cheers.